Hey there, my name is Lynette from Food Aplenty and I am here today to show you a new plugin called Any Dessert Exit Pop-Up. So let's take a look at what this plugin does. I have just landed on this particular page and I'm done with it and I want to leave. And when I go to leave, when my mouse exits the page, this pop-up will show up and I can put anything in this pop-up mes message here. Right now I have a quick message asking people to go sign up for 10 free menu plans and you can put anything in here that you want and you can even customize this pop-up a lot. Let's take a look behind the scenes how this works. So if I go to my WordPress dashboard, I've already installed a plugin so you will see a new item here in a menu called any dessert exit pop-up. The first things I want to do is go check out the settings and in here I can actually select to have different pop-ups show up on the different main pages such as the home page, the default page, the post pages and even archive pages. So all these pages can have very different uh, pop-up set if you want to. And don't worry about this, you can even override this on a page by page or post by post basis. And down here I have a cookie, uh, To I tell it to ignore the cookie because right now we are testing and I want the pop-up to show up every single time. Uh, but you should disable this when you are doing it, when you have this live. And then you can also change the cookie duration. Right now I, has, I have set it to hide uh, for 14 days. So if somebody closes the pop-up, it will not show for the next 14 days for them. I also have a default design tab here. This is very useful if you have a specific branding design that you want to use on every single pop-up, no matter where it is and what the message is. Usually this is not used very much, but it is here for the convenience to get your pop-ups uh, done up very quickly, especially if you have a uh, set branding that you want to use. So let's take a look how to create a pop-up. To do that, I'm going to go to click Add New right here. And I'm going to give this pop-up new title. Then this is for my organization only. It will not be shown on the front. Next thing I want to do is enter a message here that I want to show up inside the pop-up. So I've created a little message here that I want to be inside the pop-up. And next thing I want to do, instead of giving a link to, for people to go sign up, what I want to do is put the opt-in form directly inside the pop-up here. So to do that, I will switch to the text tab right here and paste in a code that I received from our email list provider. That's it, and it won't show up in here, uh, but it's there. And next thing I want to do is go ahead and design my pop-up. So I do not want any outer border, but you can if you want it to. But I do want to have a background because I want to create a nice border without looking like a border. And I want to create a padding of maybe 30 right here. And I do not want any outer background image, but you can if you want to. If you look at this earlier pop-up, that is using the outer background and this is inner background, just so you know what we're looking at here. So I do not want to have an outer background this time around. You can choose from any one of uh, the pre-configured ones for you, or you can also upload one that you already have. But right now I do not want that for my design. Uh, I do not want an inner border, uh, however, I do want to use an inner background color and, uh, sorry, an inner background picture and what I will do is, uh, because my images here do not have any coffee related images, but I do have one that I pre-uploaded before, so I will select this image and use it. And for my text color, I do want it to be, I, well, let's try white for now. And let's have a dark text shadow to see if that works. And now I will publish this and we shall view our pop-up. Now, obviously when it loads, because I'm my mouse is still inside the page, so it's not going to show me this. So what I do is I need to exit here 
and there it is. I probably need some padding around the side so it's not flush up against the sides of the images. So I'll go back to edit pop up over here. And I may want to spruce it up a little bit. So the inner, I do want a padding of maybe 20. And maybe the outer, instead of an image, I might want a uh, dark chocolate background, maybe a dark color like that. And we update that. And we take a look at the pop up. And I think I'm happy with it, so we'll run with it. So right now, this pop-up is only appearing on our demo page. So what we need to do is we need to select where we want this pop-up to appear. So we can go back to the settings. And we can say, show this one, the free coffee recipes on a home page. And show the menu plans on all the other pages. We save. Then this time we go to our home page. So let me stop that. Okay, this is our home page. And if I want to exit, there's my coffee one. And let's go to the categorize pages. Let's see here. That's a category page. And that would be a different pop up menu. Now, what if on this particular, what if I have a particular page that I want to disable it on? So what happens is if I go to a particular post, and let's say this particular page, I do not want any pop-up to show. I will just click this disable and update. And let's click view and exit. No pop-ups here, right? How, what if I do not, I do want a pop-up to appear, but I want a different one. So this time, instead of the menu plans, which is for all the posts, I want to show the coffee recipes on this particular one. So I'll change that over here and update and view post. And now the coffee one is showing on this particular page instead of the free menu pop-up. So it's very versatile and you get a lot of use out of it, I'm pretty sure. If you like what you see, head on over to Food Aplenty and get a copy for yourself.